I'm kind of old. True. My life's kind of boring. Also true. But I'll film it anyway. No one asked for this. Hope you're ready for it, cause I'm blocking till Christmas Day. Oh my god, please never let me do that again. Hello everybody, welcome back to Vlogmas, Vlogmas 2022. Can you believe it? We have a lot to catch up on, there's a lot. There's a lot going on with me, my face, my hair, etc. But we are back for another year of Vlogmas. This is, I believe my like seventh year doing Vlogmas. Um, so I'm very excited to have you along with me. Oh, got Drew here. I'm here. We are, can you be a little more excited for I Vlogmas, smile. come on. <laughs> But we're headed to Target this morning because we want to get some Christmas decor. We want some things for our place. We actually donated quite a bit of stuff before we moved because we were really nervous about the amount of storage and stuff that we would have in this apartment. And now we have like not enough stuff and stuff that, you know, we want to get more stuff basically. So we're headed to Target to get more shit for our apartment. We're actually going to head to the Target that's close to where we used to live, like our old neighborhood. So that'll be fun. Visit our old stomping grounds and whatnot. And and yeah, okay, so to catch you up, we've been through a lot over the last few weeks that I took off. First things first, we need to discuss my lips. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, Drew is laughing right now. Um, okay, we're gonna get this out of the way right away. I did get lip filler a couple of days ago. My lips are incredibly swollen and bruised right now. It's actually kind of terrifying. And I did want to like briefly touch on this. I don't I'm not really, I don't really love it. I see a lot of people, you know, be like, it's no big deal about getting injectables, right? And I had been curious about, by the way, I need to disclaim that these are gonna go down. Like they're very swollen and bruised right now, as I mentioned, so it's not going to look like this. And I thought about delaying Vlogmas altogether or just like not filming it because of how this turned out. And it's just a lot, uh, juicier than I wanted <laughs> but like I don't know I see a lot of people talk about getting them but no one really that gets it and is like oh I don't really like it and it has nothing to do with the person who you know gave me the injections she's amazing and really really talented I just don't think I like it on me so she told me to give it three weeks and let them like fully settle like fully get you know unswollen let the bruising go away and then I can like decide if I want to get them dissolved or not and then I will have to go through like the swelling process all over again um and you know it's all right I can say that I did it this lighting is horrendous I'm sorry I can say that I did it um, but I certainly would never do it again <laughs> and it was really expensive it was really painful and I just it just wasn't for me so I don't know it, I'm not trying to discourage anyone if you've been thinking about doing it and you know you want to like increase the volume of your lips or whatever absolutely go for it but yeah I just haven't seen a lot of people talk about getting it done and then being like ooh. I don't know if I like, I don't know if I like this because I really actually loved my, you know, I love my natural lips. I think they're really cute. There was nothing wrong with them. It wasn't that like, you know, I desperately needed to change them and you don't have to have a reason obviously, but they're a lot bigger than I would like. I don't think they look bad at all. I just don't know if it's like for me per se, you know? So anyways, okay, now we can move past that. They will be swollen for the next couple of vlogs, probably the next well, few vlogs, like honestly, weeks. yeah. So mostly like right up until Christmas. Anyways, okay, <laughs> dyed my hair. I dyed my hair a couple weeks ago. I just wanted to do something a little bit more like natural for fall and winter and just not have to worry about doing my roots. And I just wanted to like try something different. So this is actually like a semi-permanent or a temporary color that basically washes out in like 20 washes. So I figured this would be like a good sort of temporary thing. And then if I want to go blonde again back in the springtime, I can do that. But yeah, so much has happened. Like so much time has passed. <gasps> They do have Christmas trees. Drew had his birthday, which we did go to Disneyland for. It was really, really fun. I built the lightsaber. Oh yes, you did build a lightsaber. That was a really cool, he had been like kind of waiting to do that. Um, so that was a really cool experience and like the whole ceremony and stuff was really cool. And there was another guy in our group who also it was his birthday that day and he also built a lightsaber. So that we was kind of funny. Same and yeah, they both had the, the like evil red. color. <laughs> Big Scorpio energy. I'm trying to think of what else. Like there's just, yeah, I, like so many different things. We just had Thanksgiving yesterday with our friends. These vlogs are gonna be a little bit delayed just for like my mental health. Um, so yesterday was Thanksgiving. Today is Black Friday. So we're gonna head out and do some 
know, Christmas decor shopping because we don't need anything for Black Friday. Also last week, I got invited to the coolest photo shoot um, from my friend Chelsea and it was being put on by Chelsea and Ariel and they were just doing this like beach photo shoot and asked me to be a part of it. And I was like, yes, please. It was so fun. I had never met any of the girls in person before. So it was really cool to be able to have that experience and then like, you know, not be vlogging because it forced me to really just be in the moment. So it was nice to like meet people that I had already followed and then also make new friends. So it was really cool. And yeah, I had a great experience. I'm pretty sure those photos will already be on Instagram by now. Other than that, just, you know, um, putting needles in my face. So anyways, okay, I'm gonna shut up. This has been the longest intro ever, but we're going to Target and we're gonna have a fun little Christmassy day. Let's do it. This is the first time I've seen this during Christmas time in the US. It could be like a not new thing, but there's so many Terry's chocolate oranges. We have the regular one, we have dark chocolate, we have popping candy version, Look, white toffee. chocolate. Oh, and Toffee Fee. <laughs> See, it is called Toffee Fay here. So everyone who was correcting me in me and Jasmine's candy video, they were correct. <laughs> and look at all this candy, literally. Jolly Rancher flavored candy canes, Lifesaver flavored candy canes, Skittles, Sour Punch, Soda, <laughs> hot tamales, Dr. Pepper flavor. Should we try them? Should we try a weird Dr. one? Pepper, seven, up. I mean, it's not seven Up is weird. I like drinking it, but I don't know if I would like eating it in a candy cane. Airhead flavor? Probably would love that. freaking cute all of these things are. There's like little gnomes. These are for baking. We have like little candy canes. Oh my god, I'm dropping them. There's like lights. And then these little things. Like windows, Christmas trees. Ugh, so cute. Oh my god, there's a skillet thing and it comes with a skillet. <laughs> and a Grogu. Of course, I brought this camera with me and didn't charge the battery. Oh, why? My battery's gonna die soon, but look at that. Iconic. I have to get used to this being so close to my face. I got another camera to bring with me into like stores and things. My other one's like kind of big. I feel like very close up right now, but it kind of feels like old days. This is the one I used to vlog on. Old, olden days. The olden days. I'm so happy I'm surrounded by Christmas. I have just found, I know we haven't made it to the decor yet, okay? I know that. I have just found the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. This freaking tiny Nutella. I think I need it. I think I need it. We left Target, my camera that I brought in didn't have a charged battery so it died and then also someone was like having a mental health crisis. Where are we? Just wanted to be respectful of that. But now we're heading to a little Christmas tree stand that we saw and we were like, let's just see what they have. I don't know, we're not gonna be here for Christmas and it's like a month until Christmas so I think it'll last until then. So we're gonna see if we can find a Christmas tree. Who knows? Think of her. I think she's the one. Cute. She is cute. She's a little short, but also I don't want like super duper tall. I like them short and wide. This is so cute too. This is like the perfect tree. Look at her. But I want it a little bit taller, I think. I think we've decided on one. We've only been looking around for like five minutes, but honestly, I think it's like their first day, so they're still setting up some trees. And it's kind of hard because there's either like really small ones or really big ones, but this one looks really good. Number 21, I think she might be coming home with us. Christmas trees in LA. All right, we got her. She's up there. Can you see her? She's a beaut. Now let's go get her set up. Me. Merry Christmas! Oh my god, it's so festive. I love it! Yay! Do you want some help? Oh my god. 
Let's get her in the living room. Hi, beautiful. Happy Vlogmas. Come here, let's get out of the way. Come on. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, it fits great. Oh. <laughs> there she is. Absolutely stunning. Drew wants it in the window because he wants to show her off. So we'll decorate her later, but I want to show you what I got from Target. It is time for a Target haul. First and foremost, the most glamorous purchase. I'm Toilet done. paper and paper towels. All right, next up, we got a couple of pillows. I am obsessed with this pillow. This is like one of the um, Opal House pillows. And like, how cute is that? It's kind of like um, sort of retro, like 60s, 70s looking. And then I got this one to go on the couch. How cute are these? All right, next up we have, we can take a little potty break for Layla. We have a couple, well, everything's just kind of scattered. So nothing is really in order. We got a Terry's chocolate orange for Drew's mom the original. We got a couple different flavors of jelly beans for our friends. They really like different flavored jelly beans. So we got some cocktail classics, Moscow Mule, Pina Colada, Strawberry Daiquiri. And then we also got holiday favorites, pumpkin pie, eggnog, cranberry sauce, hot chocolate, and candy cane. We just couldn't resist. We got a couple of jelly beans for ourselves because we were like, why not? Here's one of them and it's seven up flavored. Seven ounce flavored jelly bean. I don't know, why not? We got two little things of garland. Oh, here's the other jelly beans. These are the ones Drew picked out. These are Dr. Pepper flavored jelly beans. I don't know, kind of interesting, kind of fun. We got two garlands. I don't know if we're gonna end up needing both, but they were only $3. So we got some silver. We did use tinsel last year and it was just way too messy. We still have it, but I don't know if we're gonna end up using it. Oh, I'm pretty sure I showed this, but the world's tiniest Nutella. Can you eat it? So cute. We got a couple of ornaments. Well, we got some ornament hooks and then we got a little deer. This just felt very like vintage looking to me and just how cute is that? And then Drew got a little gnome, Santa. As you will see when we decorate in a bit, he has a little bit of a thing with gnomes and also like his family just continually buys him gnome stuff every year. So we have like a collection. We got this, which was from the dollar spot. And I think I'm just gonna like set it down somewhere and then put like a holiday candle in it. So I thought that would be a cute little thing. We got the same as this this um, little deer ornament. We got this little like set of ones that stand up. So it's three of them. We got some wrapping stuff. We needed some more bows. I just figured while we were there, we might as well. Um, we got some gift tags. He specifically got these because there's a dinosaur on that one. Oh, we got some more little deer ornaments. How cute are these? Like they look like the ornaments that were popular when my mom was a kid or something. So cute. I got a couple of makeup things. I got a NYX Epic Wear Liner in blue. And then I got a couple of eyebrow pencils for the NYX as well. What else do we got here? Drew got a pair of sweatpants. Gray sweatpants, ladies. If you know, you know. We got more, don't you worry. Um, along with the wrapping stuff, we got three rolls of wrapping paper. Oh, and a cookie sheet because you can never have too many. So these are the three wrapping papers we got. We got this sort of like buffalo plaid looking one. Oh, so cute. We got this one that says Merry and Bright. Some silver with some candy canes. You gotta love it. And then this bag we got this cute, I think I showed myself getting this, but this is like a little village of mini gingerbread houses. And last year we went to our friends, Joe and Laura's house and we did like, I think, like a sleigh or something like that. And it was just like a smaller project and it was much better because like the big ones are just really big and this all came in one pack. So we can each decorate our own house and then we can like get extra candy if we want or whatever. Drew got some deodorant. I got some deodorant. We got these two. Oh, these are so cute. These are like little um, tea light holder things, but they're battery powered, which is amazing. So I'm pretty sure it already comes with a battery in it and then they just like light up at night and they're just like little houses. Oh, what's that? Speaking of little houses, we got an ornament. Anything that looks like it could be like sort of old or vintagey, I'm all about it. We got these hot chocolate spoons. One of them's milk chocolate with marshmallows, one of them's milk chocolate with peppermint, and one's like I think dark chocolate with cinnamon. So we just I think you just stir these in hot milk and then it makes hot chocolate. Oh, this is so cute. This like felt ribbon. And it's kind of like scalloped, like kind of wavy. Um, and I thought this would be really cute with the Marion Bright. And then we got a, oh, Layla's gonna be drinking water. And we got this little cookie tin because if you watch my Vlogmas videos, we make Christmas cookies every year. Sometimes they're a fail, but most of the time they're good. So in case we wanna like give them to people or just somewhere to like store them in. And then, okay, I'm almost done, I promise. We went a little crazy, it's fine. You know what, it's fine. We got this garland. 
that's either going to be like hung above like in a doorway or near our TV or something like that like on our little TV stand thing and then we got some bobbles. We couldn't remember if we had the bobbles from last year or if we donated them. So if we still have them we'll keep them and return these ones but if not then we'll just use these ones. And there we have it. That's our party haul. Can you give your keys back? Yes. We just finished our leftover Thanksgiving plate. It was delish. So we're gonna try these weird ass jelly beans that we saw. Oh, oh, yeah, oh. there it is. Oh. He's a Dr. Pepper guy. I'm a seven up girl. If there was Diet Coke, I would have tried it. It's so weird. There wasn't even Coke. No, it's it was all... like root beer, Dr. Pepper. Yeah, it's like. Seven up and maybe like orange soda. Yeah, it was orange, it was mm -hmm. crushed. So um, let's see, bon appetit. It's really hard to open. It hurt my finger. Ow. All right, cheers. Cheers. Are we just gonna drink them? Ah. It tastes like lemon lime, but it tastes nothing like. It tastes like Dr. Pepper. Does it? Mm -hmm. They got all 23 oh, sure. flavors. Oh, sure. <laughs> you really went for it. it. Doesn't taste like Sprite or Seven Up, but it just tastes like lemon lime. It's like lemon lime, but also it's like. That's what seven up is. Did I tell you that when I was in the UK, we were at the grocery store because we were picking out stuff for lunch. And I was like, oh, I should get a lemonade. And Jasmine was like, did did you want to get like a, like a Sprite? And I was like, I go, no, I said a lemonade. And she was like, yeah, like it's a lemon lime sparkling. And I was like, it's not, yeah. I was like, that's not lemonade. And she was like, well, yeah, it is. I was so perplexed that I said lemonade and her reaction was like, oh, you can get a Sprite. And I was mm -hmm. like, huh? And I was like, Telling Alexa and Alexa was like, what? <laughs> like we were both yeah. like that. Is, so it must be like it's this. It's like that. I know it's like that in France too. I think France too. so. I did find some still lemonade, but I think by default their lemonade is usually sparkling. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Cheers. Not exactly. No, but. it's like sweeter. Mm -hmm. It's one of them flavors. One of the twenty-three. I mean, the lemon lime is good. It's lemon lime flavor though. It's not. It's not seven up at all. I'm gonna give it like. A six out of ten. Look at this, like an eight. Okay. It's nice. Cheers. Cheers. Let's go decorate our tree. Go turn on my tree. Hey, get the hell out of here. Go turn on my tree. First things first, we have to set the scene. So we have to do a little bit of, oh, do a little bit of holiday ambiance. YouTube is the spot for that. Should we just do fireplace? Sure. This one has instrumental Christmas music. Sure. Mm -hmm. Would you look at that? I want to go to there. <laughs> so Drew actually did, he had to change the batteries out of our wreath from last year, like the batteries had died. So he just hung this up because the hook was already there from our fall stuff. So here's our first little bit. And now we're gonna assess what we have and then just go from there. We have our bin from last year over here. And then we have all of our new stuff over here on the couch. We did actually also get this from freaking Trader Joe's. How cute is this? So yeah, maybe like, I don't know, that might be either like above the TV or above like a doorway. So this How is- How long is it? Nine feet. Maybe we open it and see what yeah, it looks we'll like. See. We have our gnomes. Oh my God. Oh, this is just the box. Yeah. I thought we had saved no, the chocolates the, from last those year. Those are all the ornaments. Here's a lot of our ornaments. We'll go over those in a bit. We have a lot of gnomes happening. Drew, like I said, loves gnomes. His family gives us gnomes every year. So we have this one with some baubles in his beard. We have this one that lights up. I think we actually did get rid of a couple of them. We have this one, which is just a little jolly green fellow. We have another one, green and red. We have this gray. Oh yeah, I forgot I thrifted that. Oh. <laughs> I mean, we'll find a spot. There's like, we have the kitchen. We don't, yeah, because we don't have any yeah. other, like this, that's it, this is it. Okay. This freaking ornament, this is like an angel ornament that's supposedly my birthstone, which it says, I don't know if you can see it. It says green zircon for December, but I've heard so many different people say so many different things for what December's birthstone is. Like some have said turquoise, some have said like blue something. I always thought it was blue. This is green zircon. I don't think this is accurate, but this is from the 90s. So, anyways. Our stockings. Our stockings. This? This is yours? Yes. 
if anyone remembers <laughs> this throwback. My mom gave me this. I don't think that's the ornament that's in here, but who remembers precious moments? When precious moments were everything? This was from 1995. I won't say how old I was in 1995, but everyone had a precious moments phase apparently. We got our stockings. We'll probably hang them from like the TV stand or something. I can see your butt crack. Stop. <laughs> Okay, I'll help you. Oh my god, it's so cute. You like it? Yeah, I love that tree Yeah, that's so good. Looks like a sweater. Sweater weather. These are the little houses that I showed. Those are gonna look so cute at night. They were each $5, which I thought was like a pretty good deal. They're like ceramic too. Look how cute is that? Cute. So Christmassy. All right, now it's garland time. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty actually. <laughs> All right, here's what we've landed on. We moved some stuff around. This little tea light thing, actually like the smoke comes out of the chimney. It's so, so cute. We have our little deer here. I think this is my favorite corner so far. We have our candle lit. We have our three wise men over here. Love that. Yeah, that's the three wise men. They're also Christmas carolers. We have our beautiful glowing sparkly garland over here. We have grandfather and other grandfather or maybe grandson over here and then the two light up houses they're keeping guard of everyone obviously and then we have miss glorious over here very festive very cute and now it's time to decorate the tree did i even press record All right, we added a little sheer curtain behind because we just thought that that would look really nice. And like, look how cute it's looking. So next we're gonna do some garland. Ornament time. Let's see what's in this precious moments box because God only knows. Oh, it's another angel. Oh, an angel. Our parents really loved the angels in the 90s, didn't they? They just loved an angel decor moment. Yeah, I'm starting at the top like she's flying. It's our little Her Christmas cherub. We also have this one straight out of the 90s. This was Drew's favorite character, Marvin the Martian. Does it have a date? 1997. There you go. I think these are like the little vintagey ones that we got. We got this one at a thrift store last year. I'm like, how cute is that? Little well, baby snow globe. Hmm? Yeah, my We're not gonna show every single one because it's boring, but here we have the Stormtrooper. We got a couple of penguins over here. Time to open the big boy. We have, oh my God. We have our 2020 ornament. There's several random years. Here's our 2020. Here's Drew as a baby. Oh, so beautiful. It's so cute. Look at that little sweet baby child. Can you even? Here's an ornament that we got after our trip to Japan, but we wanted it to like commemorate our trip to Japan. So there's that one. Got a few more thrifted ones. We have our 2018 ornament. We have our 2021 ornament. Here's another 2018. We got two on 2018. I think I got us one and then his mom My got mom us one that year. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we have another child. <laughs> of me? Where are you? Where's you? I think I'm at the bottom. <laughs> I see an ear. Just kidding. <laughs> Look at him. Sweet angel. It even says Drew 1997 in glitter paint. Wow, what a year. Yeah, clearly. We have our 2019 ornament. His mom got us this because that's the year we moved to LA, which thank God we're back. We actually have an ornament that my mom gave me that was on our tree every single year for me growing up. And this was my first Christmas in 1988. I don't want to talk about it. Look how cute that is. It's so old. Oh, I found one. I found two of me. Oh my God. First of all, I need to have a conversation with my mother Who's because your this hair. <laughs> I went to a salon called the Pink Cadillac Salon. And I mean, this haircut explains all of that. Also, this is 1991. This was my preschool photo. Adorable. Oh, thank you. But again, that hair. <laughs> Here. Yeah, this, these bangs, Not you know? The bangs. Not the bangs. 
<laughs> Love it. All right, the rest you've mostly seen. We have an Arizona one. We have some faces. We have the Obamas. We have David Bowie. We have Prince. We have it all. So, all right, let's finish this straw. Right, and the last thing there is to do is honestly just put our cute little pillows out. I already switched out my fall ones. And this little tree with this guy. So freaking cute. I definitely think I wanna get like a Christmas blanket or something, but like this will do for now. And then here we have this couch. Yeah, I think maybe a little pop of red, but I just know that there's like red in the rug, so I just didn't wanna be too on the nose, you know? But like, how cute! All right, that's it. We're done decorating for now. We're not gonna talk about this plant, okay? He's very just exhausted from this day of decorating. It just really wiped him out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Today drained me. <laughs> so here we have it. It's looking so cute and Christmassy. I love the look of the tree. It feels very kind of like, I don't know, throwback, vintage, like sort of like trees of my childhood, of our childhoods, so. Hope you enjoy. I also really like the look of the sheer curtains underneath. Um, like so cute, so Christmassy. And with the Harry Potter lights on at nighttime, it's gonna be so much fun. So I think that's gonna do it for the first vlog of Vlogmas. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so excited to go along this month with you in case you're new here or you didn't know. I'm gonna be posting a new vlog every other day. You'll have 12 new like days of Vlogmas to look forward to throughout the month. And I can't wait to take you along with me. So I'm sending you so much love. Thank you so, so, so much for being here. And I'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas number two. Bye.